Hi, this is Asin. Would like to share the Merlin series of 1 over 1 minus x. As we can see, the denominator is as simple as 1 minus x, which is a function of x without any other functions. So which means that we don't have to really apply differentiation to obtain the Merlin series, but we can simply apply long division. Let's try. We take 1 divided by 1 minus x. Recall that the rule of thumb in applying long division is always reduce the first term to zero, which means that we should times one to one to obtain one. And one minus one is equal to zero. And don't forget to times the remaining terms. We have one times negative x, which is minus x. For the first line, it's supposed to be one plus zero x. So which means that we have plus zero minus minus 1. So it's always apply subtraction. 0 minus negative become plus. So 0 plus 1 is equal to plus 1. Next term should be plus x times 1 equal to x. x times minus x minus x squared. Again, the first term we reduce to 0. When we apply minus, we obtain plus x squared. So the next term is supposed to be plus x squared. When we times, we should obtain x squared minus x cubed. When we minus, we obtain 0 plus x cubed. The next term is supposed to be x cubed times 1 equal to x cubed. x cubed times minus x minus x to the power 4 and so on. From here, we can see the pattern which means that we can simply build the Merlin series now. 1 over 1 minus x is simply equal to 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the power 4 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 6 and so on. And hence we done. As we can see by using this method, we can obtain the Merlin series in a very fast manner. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.